Smile and learn. Oh, hey. You've just caught me programming this robot so it can dance. Look. Well, <laughs> it looks like things didn't go as planned. Oh, you don't know what programming is? Don't worry, I'll explain. Do you know how computers work? Or cell phones? Or what about machines? It may seem like magic, but it's not. They function in a very simple way. They receive orders and perform tasks. And how is this possible? Well, thanks to someone programming them. And you might ask, what is programming? Well, that's easy. Programming is the language that machines and technology use. It was created by humans so that machines can understand us and do what we want them to do. Programming has many different languages. That means there are many different ways to give instructions to machines. With these languages, we can write code, which combines words and symbols to form commands. Commands are instructions we give machines. They tell machines what actions they should do, and they're different for each language. When a computer receives a command, it knows what action it has to do. There are many different programming languages, and some of the most famous are Java, Python, or C++, although there are many more. Did you know that these programming languages were used to create some of your favorite video games? And although there are many different languages, they all use the same mechanics. Would you like to find out? Algorithms are the base of programming. Let me explain what they are. Algorithms are a sequence of detailed step-by-step -step instructions. In programming, algorithms are written by programmers so that a machine can do a task. It's like a recipe where a machine has to follow all the steps carefully. The machine starts by receiving an input. It can be a number or phrase or whatever you can think of. Then it'll process the algorithm. That means it will perform all the steps that we've indicated in the code to produce a result. This result is called output. For example, when we bake, the input is the ingredients and the output is the baked cake. Can you guess what the algorithm would be? I told you before. Exactly. The algorithm would be the recipe itself since it's a sequence of steps required to turn the ingredients into a delicious dish. Programming is very important. It's also found in many of the tasks we perform on a daily basis. So learning how to program will help us solve problems more easily. You'll see how much fun it is when you explore the world in more depth. See you soon. Hey, I didn't see you there. I was just doing some work for class. This week I learned block coding at school. Do you want to know what it is? First, let me remind you that programming is the language that technology and machines use. It's a special language because humans have created it to make machines do what we want them to do. Basically, Programming gives machines commands and they follow them. It's very useful and it does a lot of things. It's important to know that machines can be programmed in several ways. One way is by block coding. Let's take a look.
Block coding uses colored pieces that contain commands that we give to something or someone. For example, a game character. You can combine blocks in a sequence to send complex or easy instructions. The pieces fit together like a puzzle, so it's very easy to organize the instructions you're programming. In the schedule board, you can combine different blocks. Here you will find all the necessary components that you can select to make fun projects. There are different types of blocks and there are many different actions that you can choose from. On top of that, each block category has a different color to help you find them better. For example, motion blocks are blue. These allow you to move a player or a robot from one place to another. As well as doing other movements such as turning, jumping, or tilting. But there are also control blocks, which are orange. They help you repeat an action as many times as you want and set conditions. For example, you can teach a robot to walk forward only when it sees a green light and to stand still if it sees a red light, just like a traffic light. So far at school, I've only been taught how to program using the most common movement blocks. These blocks allow me to tell my player how I want it to move. So do you want to see how I teach my player to dance? To move it, you could use different motion blocks. The most basic ones are those that allow you to move forward, backwards, to the right, and to the left. First, I'll program my player to take two steps forward and three steps back. Look closely. As well as motion blocks, we can also find rotation blocks. Can you think of why? Normally, there are two types of turning blocks used. Turning to the right and to the left. The turning blocks help us have a more natural movement. They allow us to rotate our player's body to change the direction of its movement. We'll program the player to take two steps forward turn left, and walk forwards for two more steps. The basic motion blocks are very useful. I have to use them to program a choreography and present it next week in class. Do you want to come tomorrow to see the rehearsal? Are you ready to watch the performance? Take a seat and keep quiet. It's about to start. It turned out great, wonderful, fantastic. Did you see the final jump? Yesterday, I was experimenting and trying new blocks to make the choreography more fun. That's when I found the jump block. I can't wait for next week to show it to the whole class. Plus, the teacher is going to teach us some new blocks. Fun! And you, are you up for it? We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.